I'm Andrew Ingram, and I want to be the best in the world at everything. In seventh grade, I decided that I wanted to start being a little bit more active. I begged my parents to buy me a mountain bike so I could ride to school. And everybody was like, oh, that's so crazy. I can't believe you're riding that far to school. So I entered a race and wound up doing fifth place. I'm from Crossville, Tennessee. Kind of small town, kind of not. And the average population is like 70 years old. So I live in Johnson City, and this is the coolest place to ride, Buffalo Mountain. Came to Johnson City to go to school at ETSU. Got an apartment, now I'm at ITT Tech. I really got here and learned the area a lot better, so I had a better feel for the trails that were around. Everything just kind of fell together where the schedule, the time, the money, everything just worked to where I was like, I need to devote my time to being good at something. Decided I wanted to do mountain biking full time. In a dream world, I would like to get a pro license and start racing World Cups. In the perfect program, get all the fitness down right, have all the perfect trails to ride and the training and the time to devote to it. I would cry if I could be good enough. Going as fast as I know how, having sketchy moments and then pulling it off, that's when I feel the best. I've got a Trek Remedy, and really, it's about the best bike I've ever ridden. I love it. One of the first people that decided to sponsor me was Duro Tires, and then I got started with Hayes and EVS. I got on with Monster Energy. That was really big when I found myself on the front page of Monster Energy. That was just fantastic. I was so excited about that. Since I moved to Johnson City, I didn't think there was much riding at first. It's all natural, rough-built trails. None of it is machine-made. The ATV trails are the best thing that's ever happened to me because there's these big old hill climbs that ATV guys like to go as fast as they can up a hill, and it, it's a downhiller's dream because you can go like 30 miles an hour for 10 minutes straight. I get to play in God's creation because I get to see these beautiful mountains. Without him creating mountains, I wouldn't be able to do what I love. It's really hard because most mountain bikers aren't Christians. I think about Aaron Gwynn and Mick Hanna a lot. They've been like superheroes for me. They're at the very top of the game. It's easy to push through the pain when I'm training because I keep telling myself if I push hard enough, go fast enough, go long enough, then I'll eventually be better than everyone else. Somewhere between a grin and a cry and a scream all at the same time is some kind of happiness. This is how I feel every time I ride my bike. Man, I just like riding. <laughs>